guys welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by as always make sure you to subscribe because i'm gonna have new videos each and every week so i figured i'd start doing a little bit more um, about me and my personal life things i'm into if you don't already know i've been into motorcycles since i was very young uh, i started on dirt originally and then i decided i was gonna go to street and when i was looking for a ducati at the time i came across this incredible bike that I had no idea what it was or where it was from but at that point I pretty much fell in love with it and I knew I needed to find a way to get it so without further ado here is my 1941 BMW R12 I was able to source the bike from my friend Mike in Riverside and he specializes in World War II era bikes because they are hard to find they're hard to restore and to maintain so fast forward nine years later it's been quite a journey but it is an amazing bike, um, not just the looks, but the way it performs for being a 41. Um, it's running really strong at this point, so I'm pretty happy I can ride it every day if I choose to. Um, some of the cool, unique things about it that um, really stand out to people historically are um, the Nazi symbols that the Third Reich um, you know, made BMW do during production. Uh, obviously, I can't change that about the bike or it'll um, decrease the value of it. I obviously don't support it. It's a dark history, but it's pretty cool to own, own a piece of history. Um, if you look really, really closely over here, um, on the engine block where it says BMW, there's a super small Third Reich symbol. We'll try and get in there, but yeah, you can, you can pick up on it there. Uh, which is crazy that they were so entwined in the industry and everything. Uh, Nazis were gnarly, obviously. Um, one of the really cool features about this bike is the suicide shifter. If you ride motorcycles at all, it's obviously kind of sketchy to not be shifting gears with your feet, but instead with your hand, because you have to take your hand off while you're steering in the turn. Um, this is all original, uh, the seat's original as well. I did a lot of stuff over the years, including shipping the transmission in Germany to get it fixed by um, an amazing mechanic out there named Wolfgang. Some cool features also at the time, telescopic front um, suspension forks. That's pretty crazy back um, in those days as well as this design versus a chain. Most of the bikes at that point were chains and they still use this design today on the BMW bikes. The only thing that's modern that I've done to it is uh, I added, for safety, an LED uh, rear brake light. Is that even coming on right now? Oh, okay, usually it does. Um, the, the engine runs um, to, to spool up a magneto. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm more of a rider than I am like an engine guy like Grease Monkey. <laughs> so I just like to ride, but um, from what I've been told, uh, the magneto takes power from the engine and then uh, that'll, that'll light up that tail light and also make the horn function. But it's funny to get the horn to function, you have to like really rev it um, to get the power. So it is kick start. Um, without further ado, let's get this thing started so I can show you what it's like when it's running and what it sounds like. So I forgot to mention as well that uh, the bike originally came from Berlin and then it was uh, with its previous owner in Virginia then shipped to me once I purchased it. Um, at the time, I was able to get it for around 12,000 US dollars. Um, now they go for 25,000 plus uh, when restored and higher. Um, it's a really sought after bike because it runs so well once it is um, up and running and it performs really well. Um, it's super solid when you're on it and it's actually surprisingly agile. We trace back some of the history on the bike as well and we believe that it was actually an, a military bike and then it was later painted to look like the civilian um, you know, look when it came off production. So who knows what this thing has been through uh, during the, the, World, uh, the World War II era which is pretty cool. All right, let's start it up.
yeah, transmission, two pistons. Oh wow, the dog got Go inside. <laughs> inside. Inside. Tight rope.